Number 10. Shipwreck Treasure Archaeologists recently made an amazing breakthrough when they discovered an underwater treasure worth roughly $1 million. The find was made on the vessel La Capitana, a ship that sank during a hurricane in 1715. Back then, the ship was on its way to Spain, sailing along the Florida coast when disaster struck. Now, over 300 years later, the wreckage was discovered by a local Florida resident named Eric Schmidt. Eric found the wreckage with his family back in 2015, but didn't unveil his find to the world until much later, once he had already gotten rich. In total, Eric and his family got away with 52 gold coins, 40 feet of pure gold chain, and over 110 silver coins. The discovery would change Eric's family forever. In an interview with the National Geographic, Eric admitted that on most of his treasure hunts, he excavated nothing except beer cans. But on this fateful day, he was diving 15 feet off a beach in Fort Prince when he started seeing coins in the sand. He was so excited, he says he literally started shaking. These gold coins proved to be worth roughly $500,000 each. They are rare tricentennial royal gold coins from Spain at the time of their conquest of South America. The treasure ended up being split between the Schmidt family, the state of Florida, and the other members of the dive team. It was a hefty haul, and even when split three different ways, it was an extremely valuable find for everyone. Number 9. Ancient Amber Jewelry Archaeologists in Russia uncovered a unique burial that was filled with extremely valuable jewelry. The burial site was uncovered while a team from the local university was exploring ancient settlements near Lake Onega. In one of the settlements was a grave, and inside the grave was someone researchers say was of extremely high status in the ancient society. They were entombed inside an oval-shaped pit, and the walls were painted in red ochre. On top of the burial were around 140 pieces of jewelry that had been placed over the dead person. Each piece of jewelry was crafted from precious amber, with the team finding buttons, pendants, and all manner of trinkets. Even with all the artifacts, it's hard for archaeologists to say exactly who this person was. They were able to date the grave to around 3400 BC, or nearly 5,500 years ago. This era is known as the Copper Age, a brief transitional period between the Neolithic Age and the Bronze Age. It was when humans began to mine metal and stone, fashioning such precious materials into valuable goods for trade and to signify high status within small communities. Why was amber so popular? The reason is that the Baltic region of Europe is home to the largest deposit of amber anywhere on the planet. This deposit dates back 44 million years, and the prehistoric people in the area were the first to mine it. They fell in love with its color and natural beauty, and it probably held much significance to them that we no longer understand. Besides being a beautiful material, it was easy to work with and to create complex shapes, making it perfect for jewelry. Number 8. Mysterious Ring a mysterious ring misplaced for 2,000 years was just discovered in the city of David in Israel. It was unearthed during excavations of the famous Pilgrim's Path in Jerusalem. Archaeologists say that whoever lost the ring probably did so after taking a bath. Here's what happened. 2,000 years before today, a penitent Jewish person was climbing along the Pilgrim's Path to atone for their sins. The path is about 2,000 feet through the city of David up to Temple Mount, which is believed to be where Jesus was originally crucified. The pilgrim stopped for a ritual bath known as a mikvah to cleanse himself. He probably took off the ring, and when he came out of the ritual purification bath, he forgot all about it and kept on walking up the hill. Somebody stepped on it, the ring got smushed into the dirt, and there it stayed until just a few weeks ago. Even completely crusted with dirt, the blue stone in its center still sparkles after two millennia. One of the archaeologists sifting through dirt on the pilgrim's path found it in their bucket of dirt. But perhaps even more fascinating than the ring itself is what it symbolizes. Whoever lost this ring had climbed the pilgrim's path just before the Romans showed up in Jerusalem and destroyed pretty much everything they could find in the year 70 AD. He may have been one of the last people that climbed to Temple Mount when there was still peace in the city. Number 7. The Map of 1491 One of the most valuable maps in the world is considered a piece of treasure. 
It was created by a German cartographer named Henricus Martellus in the 15th century, in 1491 to be exact. Henricus had been living in Florence at the time, and it's believed that the famous explorer Christopher Columbus himself studied the map extensively before getting on a boat and sailing to North America. The map has changed hands quite a few times over the years. It ended up at Yale in 1962, gifted by an anonymous donor. Scholars hailed it as an important link to what is known as the Age of Discovery, when European civilizations moved into the West. The only problem was that after floating around for 500 years, much of the map was illegible and broken. Researchers couldn't decipher exactly what was written on it because it was practically dissolved. A team of researchers and imaging specialists decided to use multispectral imaging to reveal the old treasure map secrets. They photographed the map in 12 reflective colors, including frequencies beyond visible light. They then put all these images together in a computer and analyzed the information using high-tech software. And from here, they were able to get a fresh version of the 1491 map. The researchers recovered way more information than they dared hope for. It shows Earth from the Atlantic Ocean in the west to Japan in the east. There are short descriptions in Latin of several regions and people. For example, the people of Balor in North Asia that live on deer meat and have no wine. Another major revelation was the representation of Southern Africa. The researchers were able to determine that this map was based on an important map made hundreds of years prior by the people of Africa, but preserved by a European source. It greatly influenced future mapmakers and how explorers would plan their journeys to see the world, since it was the only thing they had. Number 6. Gold Coins A group of construction workers discovered a secret stash of 239 gold coins estimated to be worth over $350,000. The amazing and rather surprising discovery came from the grounds of an old manor in the northwest of France. Three craftsmen were working to restore the old house after it was purchased by a couple in 2012. The builders were merging a barn with a nursery when inside the wall they uncovered a mysterious metal box. They were shocked when inside the box was literal treasure, coins made of pure gold spilling between their fingers. And in case one treasure wasn't enough, several days later they found a purse filled with even more coins tucked behind a ceiling beam. In total, there were 239 coins all minted during the reign of Louis XIII and Louis XIV. This is according to the Regional Preventative Archaeology Service, who authenticated and researched the discovered coins. The oldest of them date back to the year 1638, with the most recent being from 1692. Nobody knows exactly who left the coins behind. The mansion was constructed way before the coins were minted during the 13th century. It was owned by a string of affluent merchants, farmers, and other generally rich people. But who might have hidden the coins and forgotten about them? Maybe someone who had to escape in the middle of the night? Or maybe someone died without ever telling anyone? Those coins probably have a lot of stories to tell. Number 5. The Phoenix Crown A mysterious phoenix crown covered in gems was found in the secret tomb of a woman in China. Phoenix crowns, also known as fenguan, were extremely ornate crowns made of phoenixes and dragons carved out of gold used by elite women in ancient Chinese society. Empresses and concubines of the Emperor of China began wearing them around the year 500, and they were made to be the most exquisite and gorgeous headdresses ever seen. They were maybe even more elaborate and expensive than many crowns and jewels from other kingdoms around the world. While there have been a handful of these remarkable crowns discovered by archaeologists throughout the years, the recent discovery of a phoenix crown in the tomb of Li Qi is one of the most impressive. He was an emperor during the Tang dynasty and died at the age of only 25. It was in his tomb that archaeologists unearthed a skull wearing a phoenix crown still intact. This woman had likely been the consort to the emperor who was either killed or sacrificed after his death to be buried alongside him, wearing the beautiful crown. Because it was buried for so long, the crown and the skull were wrapped in soil, and it was very difficult for researchers to put it back together again and restore it to its former glory. It had around 370 gems and hundreds of pearls. But since these crowns are so ornate and so delicate, it is incredible that this crown survived at all making it especially precious.
Number 4. Terrorist Treasure Tunnels In June of 2014, the Islamic State captured the city of Mosul in Iraq, blew up a heap of archaeological sites using dynamite, and then began digging tunnels in search of treasure and artifacts. It was a huge catastrophe for the world of history. However, all these years later, a German archaeologist from the University of Heidelberg visited the site of Mosul and explored an ancient palace built thousands of years ago by the Assyrian Empire, only accessible because of the destruction back in 2014. The archaeologists went into the tunnels dug by the terrorists and miraculously uncovered treasure that they had missed. He found a throne room built about 2,000 years ago during the end of the Assyrian Empire, before the region of Mesopotamia fell apart. The archaeologist didn't find gems or coins or huge piles of gold. He found archaeological treasures instead, like a pair of statues flanking the entrance to the mysterious throne room, each one weighing 40 tons. The statues depict protective spirits known as Lamassu, creatures with human heads, bull bodies, and bird wings. The throne room was likely used by King Sargon II. Unfortunately, all of the true treasure, like idols, artifacts, and jewels, were already pillaged by the Islamic State, with a lot of them being sold on the black market. Tracking them all down is going to be quite the project. Number 3. Amber Necklace An ornate amber necklace was recently uncovered during road work in Poland. The construction of a new road revealed an ancient cemetery, which caused all work to be halted while archaeologists went in to investigate. They exhumed the bodies buried in the cemetery, discovering not only human remains, but also precious treasures and a startling number of animal bones. They found recent treasure like coins from the 18th and 19th century, along with everyday items like pins and buttons. But they also discovered an amazing amber necklace made up of 35 polished beads and a heart-shaped pendant. The amber necklace hasn't been dated just yet, but it could go back thousands of years. Poland is home to some of the largest deposits of amber anywhere in Europe. In fact, the oldest example of jewelry being crafted out of amber in Poland dates back 6,000 years. Archaeologists uncovered an ancient amber workshop in the modern city of Gdansk. It was here where prehistoric craftsmen made and sold jewelry, which was then distributed throughout Europe to the various tribes. Number 2. Cursed Treasure the Croesus treasure is a collection of priceless artifacts dating back to the rule of King Croesus of Lydia. He reigned from 560 to 547 BC, lording over the kingdom of Lydia in what is now modern-day Turkey. It was discovered back in the 60s, with researchers initially believing the treasure was cursed. After the artifacts were gathered from the small village of Gyur in 1965, the villagers descended on the site and dug up everything they could find. By the end of 1966, the whole area looked like an unfinished construction zone full of holes. It's been estimated that the villagers robbed at least 150 gold artifacts and then left the place looking like a garbage dump. These artifacts were then sold illegally to smugglers. But instead of enjoying a life of riches, most of the villagers ended up suffering serious misfortune. This led to rumors of the treasure being cursed. But it wasn't that they got sick or anything like that. Instead, the misfortune came because the villagers ended up getting captured and arrested by the police after they argued on how to properly divide the profit. Someone was so angry that they snitched, and all the villagers went down in a massive police investigation. It was uncovered later that many of the stolen artifacts were purchased by the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Whoops! A Turkish journalist discovered treasures from the hoard on display there in 1985, and so he snitched on the museum. The museum tried to cover it up, saying that the artifacts came from Greece. After six long years in court, the museum finally agreed to return the treasures to Turkey, where they've been held ever since. Number 1. Medieval Treasure Trove A trove of medieval treasure was recently found in a field, seemingly in the middle of nowhere in Poland. There were thousands of artifacts uncovered, with most of them dating back about 900 years. The discovery was made by a team of researchers with the Polish Academy of Sciences. They were sent to photograph the site where a previous discovery of coins was made in 1935. When the researchers arrived, villagers told them rumors of another lost treasure somewhere in the area that was never found. Intrigued, 
the archaeologists began digging around on plots of land outside the village. They found nothing. It wasn't until they started snooping around in an empty field that they found a ceramic vessel filled with coins. More snooping resulted in the discovery of over 6,500 silver coins. These coins were jammed into linen pouches and scattered throughout the field, and archaeologists have no idea why. Other than just coins, the archaeologists also found silver ingots and gold rings. One of the rings has an inscription on it that researchers say could suggest a connection to an ancient princess named Maria. She was the daughter of the Prince of Kiev and the sister-in-law of the Polish King Boleslaw II of Rymouth. How the princess's ring could have possibly gotten lost with a hoard of treasure is a mystery still being investigated by archaeologists. Thanks for watching! What's the most precious treasure you ever found? I found a gold ring once. Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon. Bye.